what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is sparkman and today i will show you how to create your own 3d game without programming you don't need any special skills after watching this video you will be able to create your own 3d game uh well i was going to say for free but uh, i think this program costs about 10 bucks in steam when it's on sale okay don't quote me on it uh the last time i checked it it was 10 bucks i swear to god all right so uh maybe we should check it after this video all right not right now there has been some new updates i just saw the updates and it looks freaking great uh, today i want to show you some of the new updates uh, for this one specific update i want to show you is the water update okay how to create water and this thingy it used to be that you uh may hold and the water will appear and uh, it was kind of annoying sometimes because you had to make these big holes um, in order to find water. Now, apparently, you can just make water. Okay. okay so we're going to make a simple game. We're not, we're not going to make anything overly complicated. But uh, it should give you a pretty general idea uh, what you need to do to create your own first 3D game. You could be like 10 years old and you could open this program and uh, five minutes later, you could already be creating your own games uh, it doesn't require any special skills now if you have been making games for a long time it's even better because uh, then you can put all that all that game design experience into creating something awesome okay so let's get started okay so too much blah 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 okay I, I hate when you watch youtube videos and people don't shut up now i feel like i'm turning into one of those blah 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 guys i don't shut up and don't get to the to the point about the tutorial okay so let me just get started now so here is a uh, game guru uh if you don't have a copy download it the, the link is down below okay so let's begin with the basics uh you start with this brush and i believe if you click anywhere it will do it will create mountains okay like they just let me out now if you have now if you play fpf games you are familiar already with um w s a d I think I said that backwards. I think it's a W A S D. Okay, that never mind. So if you right click, you can uh, change the camera. You zoom in, hold the uh, right click button, so you can circle around, pretty much like Unreal Engine. Okay, there's a mountain right there. Now that's nothing. If you press, if you press the uh, play button, you can actually go see the mountain. Let me just have a look at the mountain, man. Everybody loves mountains. That's what there is mountain climbers everywhere. So this is what you first get when you press the um, the play button. This is already a game. It's a game about a mountain. And uh, what you do in this mountain is just basically you get on top of the mountain and the oh sh he he fell. Took some damage that time I think. Uh, he's fine. Don't worry guys. He's fine. Try not to jump so high. Okay, so right now this game is, um, you know, it's, you can say this right now, give it to your friends and say, hey guys, here is my game about a mountain. You know, you climb the mountain and you get to the top and you're like, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm top of the mountain, man. Like, look, I can, I can jump and hurt myself. But that's not very exciting, so we can make this more exciting by... I don't know, I guess add more mountains to this? Like, now you have two mountains, my friend. Look at that stuff. Look at that sh over there. Two mountains. Okay, uh, no, no comments on what that looks like. Now, if I was in a guy, and um, I would say that that probably looks like a set of boobs right there. Okay, don't quote me on it. So call it boob, mountain boob. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks like boobs. Oh, God. I just realized that. Let me just cross that out uh, you guys did not see that uh, you can make all kinds of shapes with this really bad ones sometimes okay so that's that's uh, boob mountain there you go boob mountain and that was like uh, I don't know Skyrim's mountains oh my god I keep making boobs what, what is wrong with me okay We'll stop making boobs and um, we are going to go to, uh, let me see, markers. This um, lets you pick where you want to uh, start your player. Over there, there is my marker. And if I hit play now. Okay, so whatever I place my uh, marker, this is where I spawn. So if you die, this is where you will spawn again. You probably want to add some sort of marker to that. 
and there is a boo mountain okay let's go through the boo mountain can we get up there yes we can look at that look at that stuff uh this runs on directx 11 i don't know if you guys seen it on my desktop and there is mountain boob and there is mountain boob too and here's um the rest of mountain boob boo mountain am i saying that backwards so now um now besides making bibs uh we're gonna go to entities and we're going to add a new entity see what we got here we got buildings you can add buildings you can add all kinds of stuff but uh, maybe we should add some sort of monster or something let's see now this package is here you have to buy but everything you need comes with the actual um software now uh, let me just go to the fantasy um pack here and uh we are going to add some sort of monster some sort of humongous monster an ogre not truck just a regular ogre we're gonna play some close to bull mountain okay maybe he's a little too close there play some over here now if you want to rotate your characters all you have to do is press the r button r for rotate there you go so uh if you press play well, you know you, wait 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 you're going to need a weapon now you can add guns and whatever you want to this uh let me see weapons weapons look all the kinds of stuff you can get uh you can um actually you can actually buy more stuff at their um on their website let me just find the uh put the crossbow here so so I can pick it up, go to properties and start with the bow already if you wanted to. Uh, health, okay. Um, health regeneration rate, let me set this up to 2. So our health can regenerate after we take some damage. Let's see what this looks like. This is going to look freaking amazing, guys. Look at it go. There we go. We start by mountain baby. Pick out the bow. And let's go f Oh, we only have one shot. Oh, I hear a monster. I hear a monster. Oh, there is the monster. <coughs> Good night, Sleepy. Headshots. Guys, always shoot your uh, ogres. Uh, always do headshot on ogres. Because um, that's how they... Um, that's how they like it. There's our dead um, uh, ogre. Yeah, he's super dead. As you can see, he has the uh, very close up of this monster. Do an autopsy on this, see what was inside this monster. And uh, unfortunately, all you will find is uh, polygons and textures because uh, these things, I believe, they're hollow inside. It, I mean, if you're a 3D character, you're you're pretty much g going to find uh, the harsh reality that uh, you don't have any organs or a brain or anything actually you might find a script inside of this um ogre inside not a brain but um a um a script okay and you won't find any um cartridges and bones uh what you will find is probably bones like but um they're like 3d studio max bones and they're sort of like lines so uh, i had to tell this um uh, ogre one day that he's not real and uh, he might get pretty upset so for now we're just gonna make him believe that he's dead but uh, as soon as we reset the game he'll come back to life and he won't remember that i just shot him in the head okay that's the harsh reality guys of video games they don't know that they're not real okay so we're gonna bring back our ogre back to life by simply hitting the reload button but not without first um changing my weapon let me change my weapon to an rpg he won't even know what hit him rpg and uh well what's uh, what's the deadly weapon a mine uh grenades nice little bags of grenades there so let's make more ogres if you uh click on the ogre and you hit extract for some reason if you press shift and you click around you can create more ogres okay we're going to press play that is the play button remember that i shot that um ogre in the head once and he died well guess what he's back to life again i'm gonna prove it to you there you go there you go there is five of them there now so let me just pick up my uh this pick up that 
I believe you can pick up about five weapons. I'm not sure. Let's go to Boob Mountain. Oh, I hear monsters. I hear monsters. Did I go off? Oh, it's coming up. It's coming up. The monster is coming up. And there is a very uh, effective way to... Oh, to get an ogre. Ouch. I think that hurt. Let me just change my weapon to something. Hey guys, have you ever seen these things? They're called grenades. Oh, I missed. Wow. This is an RPG. Oh, I'm out of ammo. More grenades. Up? Oh yeah, I did. Wah, wah, wah. What else I got here? Can I still shoot this guy? Yes. Okay, so if you go around Boob Mountain again, you can see... Oh, we still have one more ogre. One more grenade for him. Resources. So this could be bad. We're going to hit the escape button. <laughs> no smack for you, ogre. Alright. Okay, so, but that has nothing to do with the water, okay? Uh, let me, um... Let me make some holes here. Uh, entity mode. Paint grass. And if you press shift, you can, um... Do the opposite. Main holes. And, uh, so now I'm going to press play. Here you go, we're back at Blue Mountain. Okay, so now I'm going to press uh, tab to edit um, our level. And uh, where's my water settings? Here's my water settings. I can hardly see it. Okay, move my water settings. Okay, there we go. So let's increase the height of the water. And you can see that now we have water everywhere. And you, we can even go underwater. There might be some puddles here. Oh no. We're swimming, you guys. Check this out. We are actually swimming. I feel like I'm playing Tomb Raider. Oh, I'm over here. Will he drown, I wonder? Will he drown? Oh no. Swim away! Swim away! Swim away! All drains lead to the ocean, kid. Nemo! Nemo! Okay, so we left the uh, ogre over there. Now, let me show you what else you can control with this. If you press tab twice, you can't... Um, Change the color of the water. Okay, green, blue, whatever color you want. Uh, make it red, look. Whoa. Look at this stuff. It's Mars. Actually, let me change the sky. You can change the sky from here too. Where is the sky? Uh, sky, sky, sky. Terrain, grass, shaded options, world. Here we go, sky. Look at red sky, sort of like Mars. Mars orange. Look at this. It's like another world. Whoa. Okay, I don't like that. I feel it feels a bit weird. Uh let me just change it to overcast. What is that? Made the water blue again. You feel the transparent water. Reflection, sparkles. Whoa, look at this guy. Let's go pick up, Let's go pick up some weapons.
and we'll shoot the ogres. Ogre down. Ogre down. So that's the water right there, guys. Look at this water. So let's press escape. So there you go, guys. There's an easy way to create 3D games without having to program anything. All right, guys, I'm going to make... Okay, guys, I'm going to make a more detailed video about uh, creating a 3D game without programming. Oh, I just wanted to show you how cool the water looks in... Uh, Kanguru. But you can see how easy it would be to make a 3D game in Kanguru. This has been in the Sparkman broadcast. Thanks for watching, subscribe and like this video. Don't forget to share it with your friends. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye now.